Hey team, it's day 59. I hope you guys are doing great, wanting to get into the goals, and also wanting to talk about a question somebody asked is, what does inflammation mean? Uh, I hear a lot of things about inflammation and we'll go over that in a little bit. Try to keep this short like I always say, but here we go. 216.6 uh, pounds, up a pound, 1.6 pounds. And I started lifting heavy again like three or four days ago. And what I've noticed, if you could look at number two, is I've been bumping up my calories. Um, right around that 2300, a little bit under, but right at that peak. But remember that was when I weighed 230, that that was my peak. So I've increased my amount of calories. I've increased my amount of carbohydrate. My body is just tired when I'm lifting. So I gotta know that I'm gonna be increasing a little bit of weight and, and, and it's water weight. And remember when we went over the fact that lifting, you know, breaks down your muscles, swells, do a little bit of healing. There's some extra fluid retention around the muscles right now. Sore, trying to walk, <laughs> whatever I'm doing. Um, but I just really want to, like I told you the other uh, day, I just really want to get back into the purpose of why I'm doing this and focus on a continual track down to 206. 132 ounces, only six and a half hours of sleep. Missed it by a little bit. I was up, stayed up a little bit. 65 minutes and then 218 grams of protein. Now let's get into inflammation. So what does inflammation mean? Well, there's two types of inflammation and you know me, I wanna use a different color because I just like colors. So there's two different kinds of, of inflammation. One is acute and this would be such as like, let's say I bump a knee, a skin, a skin, my shin. <laughs> I don't know, that just sounds weird, but you know, skin, my shin, et cetera, et cetera. So it's acute means, you know, short amount of time or shorter time or, and you know, it's kind of localized where you guys get the swelling around an area. Like if you cut your wrist or not your wrist, that sounds morbid, but you know, bump your knee, skin your shin, et cetera, et cetera, injure yourself, you know, cells rush to it you get a little bit, little bit of inflammation to protect it and your body starts to heal. Now, the other one is chronic inflammation. And that can come from a few different things. So that can come from like autoimmune disorders, autoimmune disorders, uh, excess weight, and et cetera, et cetera. So autoimmune is like, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's, um, another thing could be um, from your excess weight, you know, a lot of people think that the fat tissue or adipose tissue you have is dead. It just kind of sits around. It's not, it's actually active tissue and it releases bad stuff into your body. So, um, and then et cetera, there's, there's other things um, that cause chronic inflammation like stress, for instance, uh, too much uh, cortisol, uh, and the other hormones, the stress hormones, uh, can lead to your body in what they call an inflamed state. And really what inflammation does is it doesn't allow your body to, uh, well, let me get these out again. So what, it, what does it do, okay? So what does it mean? We kind of went through that, and what does it do? Oh, my marker's running out. So when you have acute inflammation, it actually, acute, it's there to kind of heal, right? So the acute is a healing process. So inflammation in some aspects aren't, it's actually not bad. But when you look at, where's my other color? Okay, here, when you look at chronic, this is really, I would, I'll just say an inflamed, <laughs> it's kind of redundant, but inflamed uh, condition where your body can't flush toxins, you have uh, insulin resistance, you have your C-reactive protein is high, and the list goes on and on. So basically what causes it is what I said above, autoimmune, excess weight, e eating garbage, basically, you know, eating crap, um, toxins. And as you don't sleep, um, so there's a, there's a number of different things you can do. And one thing is eat right, get your water, get your sleep. Another thing is from a food perspective, like mixing greens 
We talked about that the other day, fiber. Uh, substitute tea for coffee every once in a while. Uh, just there's some of us that are mega coffee drinkers. Uh, but overall, like too much of one thing in particular is, is not always a good thing, but too much crap in your body leads to inflammation, which is everything we talked about where you have your stress hormones because you don't sleep. You basically have uh, fake insulin spikes from your aspartame and other artificial sweeteners. Uh, you have your extra adipose tissue from not sleeping, eating too much. Um, you, uh, when you eat the refined sugars, you get a huge uh, insulin spike, which keeps you in an anabolic state, which is a fat storing state, so on and so forth. So when people talk about inflammation, it just, to me, to me, if you're talking about chronic inflammation, it means you're just not, you're just not healthy. So you're not having healthy habits. You're uh, doing things, unless it's an autoimmune disorder or other sort of like diagnosed disease that, that potentially you could have some fixes for, but potentially it's just like autoimmune means your body just like something happened and it's just normal in your body. Uh, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. There are some things you can do, diet, exercise things, but for the most part, it's going to be your excess weight and just an unhealthy lifestyle that leads to chronic inflammation. So what happens? We've talked about this over time. You form insulin resistance because you get the extra fat. Things like type 2 diabetes, heart attack, stroke are become more prevalent and you die early. <laughs> so over time, I just wanted to go through a little bit of what does inflammation mean? Acute and chronic is really what I wanted to look at. What does it do? Kind of rolled through the process, but honestly, try to mix in some greens, try to get some more fiber, try to eat better try to drink more water and try to sleep. I mean, it will lead to lower bouts of inflammation because over time that chronic inflammation does start to really take a toll on your body. So hope that helps. I'm trying to get these a little shorter. Uh, you know, somebody did kind of comment that some of them might just ramble on and on. So I'm trying to stay pointed as much as I can. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, that 216.6, I got two more days and I need to be at 214. So as I'm lifting heavy and as I'm watching this weight go up, I'm thinking to myself, man, what ways can I get down? You know, what ways can I get my weight lower? And really, I'm just gonna let my body normally flush and know that because I've been lifting heavy, I've been going a little higher on the calories, uh, I need to watch that because I've up my carbs as well. So that's more retention of fluids. Uh, breaking down my muscle and I just need to trust the process that get this back down to that 2000 calorie level and and keep it there as I as I move further down but just ensure that you know the sleep is on point and everything else is on point trust the process and uh, I got 30 31 days to get there so hope you guys are doing well thanks a lot for your support if you have any comments let me know if you have any ideas on future videos let me know that as well but as always I appreciate your support and I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.